Okay, let's see. So we have, I, I thought I'd do this question because yes, it is similar to the one we just did, 14, but there is something, there's some judgment required. and I, It's not a lot of judgment, but it's pretty obvious. It does guide you. So the question says you have the ingredient mixing department, largely automated. So the fact that it's automated tells you it's driven by machines. Machines would be causing most of its overheads. And it's budgeted its fixed cost to be 465820 No problem. Accounting department, which is largely labor intensive. So you can tell that the driver there is labor in terms of driving those overheads. So 326180 So we're told that in this department, in the ingredient department, you have machine and labor. But we argue that because it's machine intensive, this is what's causing it. So the overhead recovery rate should be based on its sort of machine hours as opposed to the canning department where we're told that it's driven by labor so that should be based on labor in terms of getting your recovery your overhead recovery rate so if i plug these figures in what i should see is 465,800 465,820 divided by 7,400 and you should see a an amount of 62 pounds and 90. I'll round that up to two decimals. I'm not told what to do round to the nearest penny. So um, 62.9, that, that would have been six um, to the, the nearest penny. So 62.9, actually, I'll stop there, 62.9. And then for canning, I'm going to go 32, sorry, 326, 180, divided by 10,200, and that's 31, 32, because it's 31.97, so when the seven comes in there, it's gonna be 32. So that's 32, 32 pounds. I'll just look at this one again. Um, yeah, so yeah, because this was 62.94 or something so i looked at the four and that's less so i'm going to keep it at 62.90 um yeah so that's what you have 62.90 and that's those are your answers in terms of so the judgment really was that listen take this for the ingredients and take this for me i'm just trying to do my best to get the right overhead into each product in into each department sorry and so i want to get the best driver of that overhead so to help with my costing. Okay, great stuff. So, and then really, it's really a uh, carry on from here because really it's with ingred ingredients, <clears throat> what it's telling me is that, well, you have 62,900, your actual machine hours operated was 6,800. So 62.90 times what you actually absorbed based on the number of hours, right? That you're putting through this system, 6,800 times 62.90 you actually absorbed 427,720. That's what actually happened. That's what you actually absorbed. But you actually found out that the overheads in essence really were um, 450,060. So you haven't put in enough. <clears throat> you haven't put in enough. This was your journal would have been you in real, in real, in, in, in reality, just snipping, snippeting at this out. One second, let me just shut this down. It's very similar to what we did last time. Um, it'll be interesting when you're doing the um, mock exams from the AT to see if the, the style of layout is, is, is popular, then it's important to make sure you, you, you get that, right? And let's just do that here. Um, so what your journal ordinarily would have been, this is what you'd have, Put through debit four two seven seven twenty credit the overhead recovery um, control account or the overhead control account. It's a liability account. It's an accrual account in effect. Four two seven seven twenty, and this is what was actually incurred. So you need to put some more in. So you've underabsorbed. You've underabsorbed. You haven't put in enough. And what is what you do? You know, just me speaking from real just industry behavior, 450, 060. So you'd put in another 22,340, 22,340. In effect, that's what would happen. And that's how you would you would deal with this. Now, of course, um, coming to here, the layout, 
your overhead absorbed um, so far is 427,720, you would now put in an additional 22,340 to bring it up to what it should be 450. So you can see I'm now following their own pattern of, of how you would deal with this. Right, great stuff. And that is question 15.